Alright guys, Voltec Armor here. I'm going to go show you how to update your rooted HTC, any HTC I believe. But first thing you need to do is you need to go to your phone to find out which base model you have. Alright guys, now that you're on your phone, uh, I recommend you first to go uh, get this app called, right here, called App Backup and Restore. Basically what it is, is you can just select your apps and it'll back up the APK and you can just install it whenever you need to. So now, here it is, system update ready. So now what you're going to need to do, to your settings. Go to your settings and click about. Hit uh, software information. And hit more and right here is your build number and you're gonna have to remember that and I'll show you what that shows later alright so now you're in your browser and you're gonna go search up your baseband model so mine was, uh, let me look mine was 2.22.531 stock recovery you search that up on Google and uh, you'll find a bunch of sites where you can find your stock recovery. I'm just going to hit the first one. And I've been to this site before, and this is where I got mine last time. And I have a T-Mobile, so this works for me. So, and this is T-Mobile. So mine would be the 2.5, actually, because I actually forgot to say that. So minus 2.22.531.5. And you're just going to download that. Except I already have it. And you're going to gonna wait 10 seconds and I'll give you some mirrors and download it from the nearest place. Hopefully, if that's not yours, you can just search it up on Google as well and you'll find it somewhere. But yeah, now let's move on to the next part. Alright, so... I'm going to uh, I've uploaded this folder called Fastboot. And basically what it is is your ADB command prompts and I'm going to take super su and unlock code out cuz it's really unnecessary. That's actually my unlock code so it won't work for you guys. So after you download your recovery, you're going to rename it just to recovery. And this torp recovery is still going to be in there because after you update your phone with your regular recovery you can then go install this one after you're done and I'll show you how to do that as well now please before you start just go ahead and turn USB debugging on I hope you know how to do that because that would be pretty ridiculous and then go into your recovery mode or bootloader fully unroot your phone yes I said it it's really not that hard just go into super su and then after that you're just going to scroll down to the very bottom and it'll say permanent unroot it's really not permanent because you can just go into the play store and go ahead and download it and install it next you're going to go into any file explorer you have and going to go into the S super su folder and just delete everything inside of it and you'll see why soon I will show you now I already did this so I'm not going to continue but this is just to show you what happens so yeah it won't delete any of your things, so those would be all right. Now there should be a super su folder in this section of your device, but that's only there in your in your twerp recovery. So you're gonna go into your twerp recovery, then you're going to delete all those files. Okay, so now you're going to connect your phone and if you go into fast boot, 
it should just say fast boot USB and in your fast boot first you're going to want to move it to okay so right now it's in desktop so I'm going to go back into my desktop drag your fast boot folder straight to your hard drive alright so I finally got it in here so go find your fast boot folder here it is and now you're just going to shift and right click go open command window here alright now I like to keep my folder in the background so I can see what I'm doing first thing you want to do is type in adb dot exe and that's going to launch this alright so now that you got your adb server going you're going to go search adb devices and it should yeah uh, and it may not say anything but if it says list of devices attached then you've got it attached comment if you have some troubles and we'll answer uh, next you're gonna do fast boot flash recovery 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 dot img and that will just be this file right here click enter okay so I've had the error before where it didn't say any of this right here it just said target reported max download and I've had that error before to fix that you're gonna go open your task manager you're gonna go to processes and then you're gonna find ADB which should be running for me yeah right here and you're just gonna cancel that and then you're gonna just try to do this again alright so now that you've got the original stock ROM you can just go ahead and reboot your phone it's still rooted so that's the cool part so I'm gonna do that now and I'll come back to you alright guys so basically what happened is you got rid of your torp recovery and basically you have to get rid of it because the update itself wants to actually delete torp and remove your rooting authorities and that's what it does that's why if you try to install the zip with torp it doesn't work at all and uh... now because your root permissions do not work anymore you're gonna go hit flash recovery twerp uh, dot ing and it's important to do this before you go do rooting access because otherwise uh, the stock recovery will not be able to actually install the zip so just hit enter I think actually no no don't do it yet you're gonna need to go back into uh, your bootloader phase so I'm gonna do that now okay now that I'm in uh, bootloader I think my USB debugging is still uh, on so we'll just try it alright so it worked anyway so now you just go ahead and reboot wait watch this ADB reboot just kidding alright just gonna reboot sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but it's useful at times now that is done you can go install super su off of google play that's probably the easiest way to do it but if you can find the super su pro apk i might be able to get a hold of it and give you guys the link 
probably what I'm going to end up doing. So, yeah. I'll go take care of that and I'll come right back to you guys. Alright, so, uh, I'm up, I've just updated my Super SU. I didn't really feel like going to the Pro. Going Pro, guys. So, I'm trying to grant everything. Because it's still loading up. There we go. Grant. Grant. There's still a whole lot of other apps. But, um, I guess since before I go, I'm just going to say that I'm going to do some tutorials on the CPU Master, which basically you can set your you can set your frequencies, your profiles, and I'll give you guys the ABK make videos for that. Uh, Screen Recorder Pro, it's pretty cool. I meant to say that. Pause it on accident. And Patcher, this app is amazing. Uh, I don't want to say much about it yet because I want you guys to go watch the video that I'm about to post soon. Hopefully, it's already out. This is Voltec Karma. And yeah.